investment. Uh, in investment, we are talking about Tobin Q today. So in Tobin's theory, the only asset that the firm is possessing is its capital, right? So that is the only asset which you have. And so the stock market value of the firm is nothing but the value of its capital. This is what his main idea is, right? So I'll write a few points and you also write side by side. So the only asset which the firm has is its capital. And the stock market value of the firm is nothing but the value of its capital. So the value of it, value of firm's capital is equal to the stock market value, right, of a firm. But do you think in general this is true? Because in the stock market value, you are not only including the capital, it also includes the goodwill. It also includes the ideas. It also includes the patents. Uh, so all of that, that is also included in the capital. So in general, this is not true that capital uh, only, I mean, the, the value of the firm's capital is equal to the stock market value because there are other kinds of things also. This is in general not true, right? So it is not only the capital in general, it is, but other uh, types of things also. For example, what? For example, goodwill. For example, patents. For example, ideas. All of that also goes into the stock market value. But here, uh, Tobin has considered that the Value of the firm's capital is nothing but the stock market's value of uh, uh, the value of the capital is the stock market value of the firm. One, right? And uh, suppose the firm has to invest and it will have to invest, let's say, for expansion. So, for expansion, when it is uh, investing, then there can be for some time the services have to be halted. Right, because you are uh, remaking the office, you are expanding the offices, one. Uh, or there is a lot of installation work which will go on. Right? Secondly, you can also invest in the broken machinery. I mean, you want to repair a broken machinery that also would require, uh, um, so for example, there is an assembly line, there is a machinery. Uh, so just imagine an assembly line and there is some problem in that assembly. So you need to halt, a, halt an assembly line for some time. So there are the costs which are involved with expansion or with repair. So when you have to do a repairing work, then that repairing work would also involve certain kind of costs. When you want to expand, that expansion would also involve certain kinds of cost. So whether it is a repairing work, right, repairing a broken machinery, all of that is going to involve costs, right? All of that will be uh, involving costs. But just imagine that uh, two cases when the adjustment costs, they are present or when they are not present. There are two cases here. When adjustment costs are present and adjustment costs are not present. So if the adjustment costs are not present and if you want to do an expansion, that expansion can occur immediately, right? Because there are no adjustment costs. If it is just the new product or an idea and just came and there are no adjustment costs, you can just expand immediately, right? So expansion, right? Uh, until when expansion is going to occur, you have done in the earlier classes. Till the marginal product of capital is equal to the user cost, right? And uh, if there are adjustment costs, then expansion is not going to occur immediately, right? It will occur gradually, it will not occur immediately. It will occur gradually, right? Uh, and the value of the firm may differ from the value of its capital, right? The value of the firm in this case, value of its capital for a while, value of its capital for a while, right? So if the expansion is going to occur gradually, then in that case, the value of the firm may not be equal to value of capital at every instant. Eventually it will be, 
but for a while there is going to be some difference because the costs are also involved right and then you write what is the tobin q so adjustment cost could be any kind of cost which are required to make investments for example transaction cost could be there administrative expenses could be there or you i mean while the expansion is going on or the repair is going on there is a disruption to the production that is also the kind of the adjustment costs now what you say is that uh, tobin q is this tobin q is the stock market value is v upon ek into k so v is the stock market value value of capital is capital into price of capital right um there is also one more definition of tobin q or one more uh, formula for tobin q which i want you guys to write it is market value of assets which is nothing but the stock market value upon replacement cost of assets on replacement cost of assets now this q it can be greater than 1 it can be greater than 1 it can be less than 1 and it can also be equal to be anything so when you say it is greater than 1 so it means is that that is stock market value is greater than the value of the capital so the firm should be investing more its stock market value is more than the value of capital so firm should invest more firm should be investing more and the stock market is a sort of valuing this firm stock more than the value of its capital so company is having uh, i mean company is being valued at a premium price so this is the time when the company should be issuing new share taking advantage of the fact that the stock market is valuing it at a premium so the company should be investing uh, sorry company should be issuing new shares company should be issuing new debt so that is what is what is meant by taking the advantage of uh, the fact that the stock market is stock market is uh, sort of uh, valuing this stock at a higher price one so one thing is that and then when q is less than 1 this is the time the firm should be disinvesting this is the time that the firm should be disinvesting should reduce its investment in capital and uh, this is also the time when the stock market is valuing uh, the firm at a price which is less than the value of its replacement cost so this is also the time uh, or the opportunity for the company to buy back some other share to repurchase its own shares right that is also the time and when q is equal to 1 um, it means that uh, the stock market is valuing it at its uh, market value i mean it is there is no premium or it is not uh, uh, valuing it at the lower price so in general if there are no adjustment cost the value of q should be around 1 if if there are no adjustment cost the value of q should revolve around 1 on so this is this is a very small uh, video about uh, what is tobin q and how do you interpret uh, value of tobin q greater than 1 equal to 1 and less than i hope it was of some use to you thank you